My name's Samir Singh. I work for Arsenal Football Club in the community department. Our job is to work with the local community and one of the projects we run for schools is called Arsenal Double Club, which is a languages programme encouraging young people to take up a language and realise that learning a language is fun and useful. I have always been an Arsenal fan. I never dreamed about working for Arsenal Football Club, but I learnt at school. I studied um, French and uh, Spanish at GCSE and, and, and took French to A-level. I also studied ancient languages, Latin and ancient Greek, uh, through GCSE and A-level and ended up studying ancient languages, Latin and ancient Greek at university. And I've ended up here at Arsenal Football Club. So the football industry is not obviously just what you see on the pitch, the footballers. There's a lot of people that work behind the scenes and languages are very useful if you want to work in football. We do a lot of work with people from all around the world so it's a very useful skill to have. We have lots of tourists visit us here as well on a non-match day and on a match day so it's if we have two people with an equal identical CV but one of them can speak a language they'd be more likely to get a job because it's a useful skill to have. At Arsenal we've got a very um, multinational squad, multilingual squad. I think currently there's 13 different nationalities at Arsenal and obviously they all speak many different languages. Our current manager, Mikel Arteta, speaks seven languages, um, Spanish, Basque, Catalan, English, Portuguese, Italian, French. And that represents where he's either played or been a manager or where he's from. Our striker, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, speaks five languages, French, German, Spanish, English and Italian, and again representing where he grew up, where he's from and where he's played. So learning a language means you can also travel to another country for work. In our press conference room, we have a special translation room at the back where if we're playing a foreign team, we will employ a translator who speaks that team's language and they will be able to translate for any managers or players who are interviewed. So there's different languages spoken here on a match day and a non-match day all the time. So Arsenal Double Club is our, our modern languages programme. We have resources in French, German and Spanish for young people. And all the resources feature the Arsenal players speaking in their native tongue. On, and we also have resources related to those languages. So the players will be on camera speaking about themselves, their family, their pets, their children, their daily routines. All the things you need to learn in, in a foreign language. But it's the Arsenal players teaching you. Um, and likewise, the resources are all focused around... Things like numbers, colours, body parts. Again, things you need to learn in a foreign language, but they're related to football. So it's using football to make language learning fun. Schools will sign up to Arsenal Double Club, the languages programme. We will send them resources, which they will use in school with their teachers, and they'll watch the videos with the players speaking in their native tongues. But at the end of the, the, the programme, they visit Emirates Stadium and they'll do a stadium tour where they'll practice their language. They'll have to learn different football-related vocabulary and words. Um, so it's, it's a regular stadium tour, but with a modern languages twist. It's called Arsenal Double Club because it's in two halves like a football match. So the, the, the first half is in the classroom. You're learning about uh, football through the foreign language. The second half is out like a PE lesson, but you're also practicing your French or your German or your Spanish when you're playing football, so using numbers or colours or body parts in the football session. Being able to speak a language even up to GCSE and A-level is useful because even if you meet people who can speak that language but can't speak any English, you will be the one who will be able to look after them and make them feel welcome, so that's a, it's a very useful skill to have. And I don't think you need to be even fluent in a language, just being able to speak even a few words is, is, a, is, a, is an asset, an advantage. And even as a football fan, you can travel if your team is playing abroad or England are playing abroad, you can travel on holiday to watch football abroad and being able to speak a language is useful and you can go and watch your team if they're playing abroad or England play abroad. We at Arsenal always encourage young people to learn languages because we think it's a useful skill. It's useful for us in the world of football, but also it shows that you have your eyes open and your minds open to people abroad and football itself. We have players from all around the world and fans from all around the world. We are an outward looking sport and we encourage young people to be the same. I will pick two favourite words. One is in a modern language, one is in an ancient language. Our former manager, Arsene Wenger, always used to say the word footballistically, which 
English people thought was a made up word. But having just been to, I was in Belgium for an Arsenal match speaking to some French speaking fans. They use the word footballistiquement, which is obviously footballistically translated. So that's my new favorite word. My favorite word in ancient language is vomitoria. I was speaking to the head of our, of our stadium here and he mentioned to me that all the openings around the stadium are called voms, but he didn't realize that it was actually a Latin word where they exit and enter the stadium. So 2000 years later, it's the same word that they used in the, the Colosseum that we use here today.